We've been waiting for a long time. Yes, we've been waiting for a long, long time. We've been waiting for a long time. Hello there from Area 51 Raceway and I have in front of me a couple of my scratch build cars and this is a video on uh, mounting the body onto your chassis after you've built it. Now I did a video on the uh, chassis build kit or the showdown chassis kit from Salt Car Corner for specifically the showdown proxy and one or two questions I would ask was you know can you make a body mounting video. Now there are already three or four body mounting videos uh, out there. I have, I think, two old ones. Uh, one was for 125th scale, which is basically the same thing as 132nd. Harry has done three, I believe. Uh, he did one for 125th, and he also did one for 132nd. So I'm here just with these cars to kind of show you the different methods that, well, actually the only method that I really do, to be honest, is, and I've only done two, one a different way than the other, is using plastic strut. Uh, you can use balsa wood. Harry's used balsa wood. It works just as effective. Uh, balsa wood would be a great material to use. It's light, you know, so it's it's forgiving. So it, you could use that uh, or use plastic strut, which, which I do. This is one of my first cars, and as you can see, this is plastic strut here. This is what I've done to mount this body. Same with this one right here. And... Uh, this was a thinner material, I believe. I think 60 thousandths, but I'm not sure. And then this is the same material as well. And this is a uh, scale electric Thunderbird with a custom built chassis underneath it. And uh, that's what I did with this one. And in one of my uh, early showdown cars, I used a real thick um, plastic. It's not plastic strut. It's the black thick plastic stuff that uh, Zach Morgan has used. Because Zach Morgan has one of his videos where he's done a uh, body mounting video as well. And uh, the next one that I'm going to show is this one where I used the original uh, posts from the car and made plates. And this one was a little bit difficult because I had to get the body height right. And that's usually the hardest part right there. <laughs> it's getting it the right stance I needed at. And uh, this was a challenge, but I was able to do it. But this is, you know, a wire chassis. And uh, I used plates from brass and then kind of soldered it in the position and uh, went for broke and it actually came out pretty good. So I was pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. So again, there's different methods of doing it. And uh, again, here's one that I'm still working on. As you can see, there's the plastic strut and this stuff is on the real good because I use a real good epoxy called Bob Smith's epoxy and you, you have to practically bend these in order to break them off. Uh, it's really strong because I think on this one right here, I'd mounted them to I'd mounted them in the wrong position. I actually had to cut this off with a Dremel. That's how good the epoxy was, and then clean it up and redo it. But uh, this is a floating pan, of course, and uh, I'd already mounted this, so this is in the correct spot where I want it. And uh, as you can see, perfect. Now these tires right here are not true, so they're rubbing. As you can see, how thick they are, and the difference between true and untrue. So I need to true those still. And uh, again, another method of doing it. So we're going to go over to the bench. And you're going to see what I do with a particular show car that I'm, you know, the showdown car that I'm working on right now, which is Camaro Z28. And I'll show you how I mount that body. So let's head over to the bench. Okay, here we are at the bench. And, you know, you have your chassis all built and you're pretty, you know, jazzed out because you're ready to go with doing other stuff. Excuse the shadow here. And, uh, now you, you have to figure out, well, hell, now I gotta mount the, you know, mount the body on. So again, I use plastic strut for this particular one. And the plastic strut that I use is the Evergreen Styrene Strips, and that's this right here. So that's the uh, item 38383. This is 0 0.100 by 0 0.500. Uh, five strips, I think this is 36 inches long, but you get a package, five in a package. Real good stuff, so about eight bucks for this right here. So. This will last you a while for plenty of builds. So if you want to use styrene of that type, you can. I like it because it's the thickness of it. And I just like the way it looks and uh, how thick it is and the shape. And the width is, to me, it's perfect because I can basically have a lot of room to do that. So uh, what I'll do is I'll generally cut it the um, width of the, of the rocker panel or the length of the rocker panel, excuse me, as you can see right here. And... Uh, that fits in there perfectly. And I could trim this down a little too if I want. And obviously you would 
super glue this and then epoxy it when you get into position and that's where it would be and then you'd put your screw holes in there because i haven't drilled holes in these uh, body mount straps yet so one thing that i thought of doing and i actually did it was i made this kind of small jig tool out of wood and this is what i did here and this is a uh, piece of wood scrap wood i have lying around i used this when i built the track to um uh, anchor something down i can't remember what it was and this size of this right here is and again i like this size right here because it and i'll show you why so this is half inch by uh three what's this half inch by five eighths so at least half inch across doesn't matter the height and the reason why i will pick this piece because when i place the car over it it over the, the wheels overhang as you can see and I could set my body and if you had this the wheels on there you can't really it's kind of a little bit tough to do so I like to do that and then what I did was I got some Hobby Lobby uh, balsa wood strips these are five pieces that come in a package 36 inches long and these are 1 8 uh, by 5 16 pieces of uh, balsa wood and this is an example of a piece right here it's actually a perfect height, I think, for a showdown car, you know, to set the height on it. And then what I will do is I super glue these right here to length so that they fit in between here. And then I place the car on top of here. And uh, there you have it. You have yourself a point to put your body on right here because I had these spread out enough to where they overhang the straps where, you know, the body will mount to. And then I'll place the car over it like that. And there's my right height right there. And that's what exactly what I'm achieving. So you have it shimmed to where you have it at the great right height. Excuse me, see the camera focus, but, and that's exactly what I do. And then what I'll do is I'll get a piece of strip of this stuff and uh, cut it to length of the rocker panel right there. And then I'll sand one side down here and I'll sand the inside of the body. And I'll put a small film of super glue here and then what you could do is when you have it set there, you could place it right here and set your body down like that. And, it, and then you could use a screwdriver and just push it up against the body and uh, push it up against there and let the glue do the work. Obviously you wanna make sure it doesn't stick out past, you know, in, you want it right in between here because you don't want the plastic strip to stick out this way or this way and have it overhang and hit the wheel. So I have it right there. And as you can see, yeah, if I could show it right there, if it doesn't fall, you see I have it right in between there. And this is just simulating that I glue it. And I glue it in place and uh, glue this over like that. Glue it in place and uh, put it on there. And uh, just let the glue do the work. Give it like about 10 minutes. I'd say 10 minutes. I know it maybe will dry quicker, but give it 10 minutes so it doesn't like sag down from the weight of the plastic strut. And just hold it in place there. And, uh, you know, because you have it, excuse me, you have it on these. You could hot glue this if you wanted to. Say if you want to hot glue the bottom here to this and just stick it on there so it doesn't move, you could do that. Or, you know, I get a little screw if you could <laughs> get in there if you want to. I mean, different ways if you don't want this to move around too much as you're putting these on. And I usually, like I said, just do it like that. And then I'll push. Say I have glue on there and I'll push this up against it. And uh, that's pretty much how I get that done. And uh, let it set. And usually it's already done. You pull it out and it's already stuck on there and then you could epoxy it and then reinforce it if you want with a tube tube of styrene above here if you want to make it stronger or put a crossbar over here harry has mentioned that i find that that bob smith's uh this stuff right here works really well again it's super strong that's why i only use one you know i epoxy it from the top and it's it's hasn't failed me yet so i'd use jb weld and jb weld is it's okay but sometimes it breaks off and I found that using this Bob Epoxy is done real well. And as you can see, I got it right on top of the wood there, the body. And that's what you want. 
So when you have it glued, you could move it into position. Obviously, it takes a little time for the super glue takes effect. Just make sure you get it lined up, you know, right in between the panels there, and then let the super glue do its work. And when it holds it in place, that's when you can put your epoxy. And like I said, give it 10 minutes, and then you epoxy it, and, uh, you know, you position your car after they're epoxied on, either forward or backwards, you know, side to side. You get it, you know, squared away when you have this flipped over. And then you uh, drill your holes and you mount the body. So that's just uh, a quick method if you want to do something simple like that. Uh, there's other ways of doing it. I mean, if you have the car on the on the block, on the setup block, you could use popsicle sticks to, you know, put your ride height if you want to do it that way, which is you get popsicle sticks, which is another method, and glue two of them together and, you know, probably need more there and then remember these have these could be hogged out more so if you feel like you could have enough room to more room to hog it out you can do that as well and if you feel like it's rubbing the body because remember once you get everything down you want to be able to make sure this body is moving so it doesn't rub the tires so you want to probably shave some down if you make a you know a little bit too low or something like that but it's, it's easily correctable i mean you could use also uh the uh, 330 second shims to shim it up if you feel that it's too low, which I've done before when you put your mounting screws in. And uh, that's another way to kind of bring up the height if you need to in between the plastic strut and here. But uh, again, this is this method right here is what I'll be using because I like how this overhangs right there and the wheels are off the air and this way I could place my body on it and, and as you can see, plenty of room there where they should go. And all you're doing is setting the height because your body's resting on the piece of balsa wood. And then you gotta make sure you position your plastic strut in the right spot when you glue it to the body because you want it to be right in between here and here. You don't want it sticking out here or sticking out over here because you may not have enough room to get the screw to, to get a bite on it. So. You want to make sure you get it in the right spot when you glue it and you're keeping an eye on that when you push it up against there and make sure they're even and again the glue the super glue will do the work it'll get it on there and then you could also do this you could put it right there and then add a drop of glue and then just hold this and then put a drop of glue and push the body up against it and then wait you know keep a little pressure on it and then you feel like it's starting to stick let it go see it moves a lot you just gotta be patient with it or you could do it the way that I said, which is put a, some glue on the end there and then push it against there if you want as well and do it that way. And uh, I use the, I don't use like the glue that dries instantly. The, the glue that I use is the Hobby Lobby stuff, of course, which this is the thick glue, CA glue. I like this stuff because it doesn't dry immediately. It's thick. And then you can put it up against there and uh, don't put too much because uh, one thing, if you put too much, it will leak out onto this and then this will stick to your brass. So that's what you don't want. You don't want any glue in between the brass in here. So put a thin film, enough film to, to coat it so that it'll stick and bond. And again, sand your surfaces, sand this surface and then sand the surface in here. So it'll get a good bite uh, from the super glue and you should be able to mount your body with no problem. So, but that's a method of doing it. And I hope uh, this video has helped you out. And as always, uh, you take care and have fun racing.